Good morning guys, I'm Gary from Lost in the Ozarks and today we're out gathering burdock to use as a wild edible. Now we did a video in the past on using burdock roots. This time we're going to use the stems of these plants. Before we get into this, please be sure and give us a like and subscribe to the channel and uh, comment on it if you try this, uh, let us know what you think. The burdock root we, that we used, we cut it up and we used it um, to put into soups, things like that, you can boil it. But these burdock stems, we're gonna use them to make a, an Italian recipe. Um, so let's get started gathering these up and then uh, we'll take them back and we'll get them cleaned up. Now one thing you wanna make sure of when you're gathering these is you don't wanna take all the leaves from the plants. So you can take some of the larger leaves and then down in here there are smaller leaves that are coming out. So if you leave the, the smaller leaves, then they'll come out and they'll grow during the summer after you take these. So it's early spring now, so we're gonna take some of these big second year leaves. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna cut some of them off. Now what you wanna do is get down really close to the bottom of the plant here where it comes out of the ground. Take you a pair of scissors. I, use, I like to use EMT shears, but take you a pair of scissors or a knife and just cut it off as close to the ground as you can. It took me about 10 minutes to gather this, maybe a little less. And this is plenty for our recipe. So I'm gonna get back in and we're gonna clean these up and get ready to cook them. All right, now that I'm back in the kitchen, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate these leaves from the stems. And I'm, once again, I'm just gonna use my scissors here. These are EMT shears, but you can use any scissors, a knife, anything like that. And we're just gonna separate the leaves from the stems. The stems are what we're going to keep and use in this recipe, so. Now we have our stems separated from the leaves, so what we want to do next is wash them out real good. You want to just rinse any dirt or anything like that off. Then we're going to cut these up. So once you have your burdock cleaned, we're going to cut it up just like, kind of like we do celery. So we're just going to cut it into chunks. Now if you run into one like this, this one's got some bad places in it. Just cut that bad place out. <clears throat> we're just going to cut the bad place out, throw it to the side. We'll put it in the compost heap. For this recipe, you need four cups of chopped burdock stems. Transfer them to a saucepan, cover them with water, and bring them to a full boil. Once they are boiling, reduce the medium heat and simmer them until they are tender. While the stems are cooking, you can go ahead and get the rest of your ingredients prepared. Beat nine eggs in a large bowl. In a separate bowl, combine two cups of cracker or breadcrumbs, Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, and chopped green onion to taste. Once the burdock stems are tender, drain them, let them cool, and place them in a large bowl. Next, once they're cool, add the dry ingredients and the eggs and mix thoroughly. Spoon the mixture into a skillet heated over medium heat and brown on one side. Then flip them and brown the other side. Once browned, remove from the skillet and drain on a platter with paper towel to absorb the excess oil. You can serve them with the side as they are or eat them on a sandwich with a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese and hot sauce or marinara sauce. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, take a moment and check out some of our other videos. And as always, thanks for watching.